Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, and welcome back to some more Super Paper Mario in the last episode. We did Merle's side quest, which got us to our one of our last few pixels, aka Piccolo, who plays different tunes and actually would have helped us. Uh, if we played him in the chomp fight, he would have uh, actually been very useful because he would have actually put the chomps to sleep, allowing us to get free hits on them and basically make the fight very easily, very uh, easy for us. But we didn't do that, so we had to basically deal with uh, them in a harder mode. Anyways, the last heart pillar is here. Let's go put it in. Alright! And with that... This brings us to our final part of the game here. So, the time has come. Heroes, the last door is at the top of Flopside Tower in the center of town. I will go ahead and wait for you there. Wait, go and wait there for you. Once you've prepared for the, the battle that that's waited, that waits by beyond that door, please come to me. So yeah, we're finally nearing the end. The door to Complex Castle is open well, open to us now. But before we do that, before we do any of that, as I mentioned in the last episode, uh, we do have some preparations to make, but. But, 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 we are also going to be preparing for the hundred, well, the pit of a hundred trials as well. So we're going to need some really, really good healing items and really, really good, uh, everything else. So, yeah, gotta come prepare for this. So, uh, let's actually go and let's, uh, find, uh, some stuff to prepare for. Uh, definitely not here, though. Although I do believe we could cook something real quick. Uh, we'll also be preparing in other ways, obviously shopping. We'll also be some selling some stuff so we can actually shop up for other things. And also, yeah, we're basically going to be preparing for the, 100, the pit of 100 trials first. Uh, there's going to be a bit of a surprise when it comes to this stuff, so, yeah. Uh, let's see, we got the hot sauce, peachy, peach, let's do the peachy peach and the keel mango. Alright. Alright, uh. I'm just gonna search up if it can. Uh, recipes. Uh, here we go, yeah. I was right. Peachy Peach and Peel Mango. I mean, that makes sense. They're both fruit. Let's do that. Actually, there is a mistake. Uh, now I'm looking at the Mario Wiki, but apparently if you mix a keel mango and a mushroom, you get a zest dinner, which is uh, international, and I think, yeah, in Japan it is becomes a mistake, so, yeah. Get a lovely uh, fruit punch. Here's poison as well. Let's see what else we can mix so far. Uh, looking here... I'm like looking at the recipes here. If we mix a smelly herb and... Oh, well, if we just get a smelly... Oh, and a shroom shake. Hold on. Oh, we just... No, oh, never mind. What about the primordial fruit? Mm. 
and a Shroom Shake. Oh, Keel Mango actually would have uh, also made a Fruity Punch. Uh, the Town Special is only with a, with one. So I guess we will go back to Flipside and do that. This will be a much shorter episode too. We're just doing some preparations for both the final chapter and... Uh, The final chapter and uh, the Pit of a Hundred Trials. I know I've been repeating that. It's basically all I've been talking about. Because, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Uh, this is going to be pretty crazy coming up these last few episodes. Uh, yeah, I can't believe we're already near the end. It's like the second time I'm beating this game. Fun, like, that's a, if you guys want to know a fun fact. Uh, yeah, I'm actually uh, really sad that this journey is coming to an end. But, uh, you know what, we got to relive, uh, a, basically an interesting twist in a, uh, basically amazing, uh, trilogy of games. Because, you know, this game didn't play like the other two, it was like the first time, like, you know, they wanted, uh, Ninten Nintendo wanted Intelligent Systems to, uh, experiment with the Paper Mario series, and, uh, you know, it didn't hit for some, but it hit for others. I definitely think it was a hit, in my opinion, although I would have preferred the traditional style, I think, this still suffice, especially because the story made up for a lot of the uh, aspects. And it still had some RPG mechanics, like, you know, there's still level ups and experience points. So it's like more of an action RPG in a way. So I guess we'll do the smelly herb and the, uh, the primordial fruits on their own. And get something better out of that. So yeah, as we make these last minute preparations, we are basically, we've basically done everything that I know of. I'm not sure if there's any other side quests that we could really do. Uh, I will find out afterwards if there's anything we really need to do. Uh, but otherwise, I don't think there's much else. Uh, there is some items that we could get from our uh, storage, I believe. So we'll probably get those as well. And I really love that effect, honestly. It's so cute. Got the town special. Oh. Oh, I think the prime. Oh, wait. No, that was the primordial meat, if I recall correctly. Uh, let's see what the hot sauce it can do. Because uh, I got that, and I was like, wait, do we just like combine like the hot dog and the in the uh, hot sauce to make something, like a hot, hot, super hot dog or something. I don't know, so. I'm looking right now at the Mario Wiki, and it does increase our, temporarily doubles our attack. Apparently this is also in Thousand Year Door? Huh, I did not know that. It could be bumped by the businessman in Glitzville after you complete his trouble. Interesting. So, I, yeah, that's another thing I, I'm probably going to do when I play, uh... Okay, so there is no, there is no, uh, cooking recipes for it. Okay. So we're just going to keep that for the double attack. But, uh, yeah, that is pretty interesting. Uh, I guess I have to do the troubles when I do, uh, when I replay the, uh, well, when, the, when I play through the Thousand Year Gold remake. And you guys know that probably I'm going to let's play that somewhere down the line. Probably nowhere near now. Again, I would probably have to do the original Paper Mario first before I do that. I don't know if I would replay, like, the other two Let's Plays I've done for Galaxy and, uh... And Crystal. Uh... I know I've talked about replaying Crystal, like... Or doing, like, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. But, uh... I don't know, I'm just kind of like 50-50 uh, on it nowadays, because like, I feel like I would rather explore other Pokemon games before getting to that. But I'd rather much uh, put priority to both Thousand Year Door and 64 if I were to remake them. Uh, let's check our storage here. Oh, we don't have anything. Okay. Nine shopping points. Uh, I guess if that means we buy... Wow, we can't buy anything, huh? Hmm. 
Well then, uh, I guess we'll also just find items off screen as well. Uh, I will also check. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Well, this really feels like a filler episode, huh? Let's go check all the way downstairs first. See if there's anything else we could get. And we'll probably go off screen and, fi and find some uh, items that we could potentially get and also get some coins. Because we are very low on that. I'll probably have to search up how to... How to, like, to grind coins without having to, you know, grind for them. Oh, uh, let's see here. Oh. I don't want to just completely miss that, honestly. Now, I know that the 100-bit uh, trials, uh, they're a little bit different in this game than they, how, how they are in the uh, in 64. Not 64. Oh, my God. 64 is the end of the 100-bit trials. Uh, how they are... Oh, my God. You're massive. Oh, my God. He's... He, oh, my... He has, like, corpses on corpses. How many people have fallen in here? This is, this is why you don't do not let go of your goldfish. Like this game's teaching you a valuable lesson because like, goldfish actually get like that. Uh, uh, not like murderous killers, but like they get, they literally, like get giant and they destroy, the uh, populations and the environment inside like lakes and uh, rivers if you do that. So uh, yeah, guess uh, intelligence systems is giving you like a, a deadlier version of that. Shrink down. Let's see uh, what the small teeny shop here has. Uh, cake mix. Oh, shit. Wow, we're one coin short off of purchasing anything on that list. Uh, let's go down. Yeah, this guy's huge. I think that's the biggest he's going to be getting. Damn. We're speaking dark. So yeah, when we're doing the uh, Pit of 100 Trials, we're probably going to be speeding through things mostly. Uh, like, you know, we're probably just going to be, like, speeding in and hopefully, uh, like, you know, speeding up, like, you know, quickening up the video. That way we're not here for super long and doing, like, you know, tedious after tedious battle. Actually, wait, no. Because I, I did Thousand Year Door, and, like, that was fine. So, like... Oh, we got an HP plus. Okay. Gain 5 HP after that. Okay, so now we have even more health. I never acquired that when I originally came down here. Wow. I don't know why I missed that out on that. Huh. Guess we learn something new every day. I got, okay, and that also means I got the power plus before I got this. So. Oh, we also one-shot that thing now instead of, like, splitting it. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, yeah. We're, oh, wow. We're, we are getting a lot of stuff that we just missed out on because we were just being stupid. Let's go in here and we get a intercheck card. Okay, interesting. I think we're in the background now. Alright, there's not really anything else for us to get here. All right. Can't believe we missed out on that on our first time here. But uh, yeah. Uh, I guess we shall end things off a little bit early here. Uh, I apologize if it, we are like you know this is just like a quick little filler episode, but this is basically some preparations, uh, and also before before we even do the uh, kind of a hundred trials. Uh oh. But yeah, uh, I guess before we end off, we could just discuss a little bit more about what I expect from Thousand Year Dwarf's uh, remake. 
Because uh, we've just been talking about that a lot, huh? It's also just, like, been brain rotting me. Uh, but... Yeah, uh, I have never done, like, all the, uh, tasks, and I actually been... Before the remake was even announced, I wanted to, uh, actually replay through, like, every single Mario RPG, so... I went through Paper Mario, I beat it 100% for the first time, because, like, I beat it, like, any percent, multiple times, and, but I never did it 100%, so he even did, like, all the power bounces, so, uh, yeah, I was, uh, really happy about that. Then I did Superstar Saga, and then I was gonna do, uh, Thousand Year Door, but then they announced that, and then I was gonna do pa Partners in Time afterwards, so now I'm just waiting on Thousand Year Door. So, yeah, uh, that, like, really stopped my track, so I guess I kind of skipped it, and we're just playing through, uh, Super Paper Mario now as our Let's Play. I've been meaning to actually do this game for a while, so I guess it was very much overdue. But anyways, love my videos with a like button, make sure to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Next time on Super Paper Mario, we will be tackling the Pit of 100 Trials. Do not enter Flipside City Hall. We shall see you guys then.